welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a 2011 27-inch iMac using the OWC inline digital thermal sensor for iMac. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. Attach the two heavy-duty suction cups to the upper corners of the glass front of the iMac. Then, gently but firmly pull forward on the handles to separate the glass from the magnets that hold it in. You can then set the glass aside. At this point, you'll need to be extremely careful not to touch the screen itself, as the oil from your fingers is very difficult to remove. Next, we need to detach the display itself. To do this, we'll need to remove eight Torx T10 screws, four on the left and four on the right. As you remove each screw, you may want to grab onto it with tweezers to keep the screw from getting away from you, especially the ones located near magnets. Then, being careful not to touch the screen itself, use a nylon tool to pull the screen forward. In the upper left corner, you'll need to disconnect the vertical sync cable. Simply slide it from its connector using the tabs at the top. Next, disconnect the backlight power cable by pushing down on the connector to release the retaining tab and pulling the cable and connector downward. You can use a nylon tool to help disengage the clip if you need to. Then, detach the DisplayPort cable near the center right by first lifting the handle by the black plastic tab, then lifting the connector straight up and out. Finally, lift the display power cable up and out much like you did for the vertical sync cable. Keeping your hands on the outside edge of the display, you can now lift it up and out of the iMac and place it in a dust, static, and oil-free place. The hard drive is located here. The first thing to do is disconnect the SATA cables on the hard drive. Next, remove these two Torx T10 screws holding the drive in place. Finally, lean the drive forward slightly and lift it up and out of the iMac. Here we have the original drive and the new drive. The first thing to do is remove the two mounting pins from the original drive using your Torx T8 screwdriver. You can then install them in the same place on the new drive. Next, remove the mounting bracket from the original drive. And attach it to the same place on the new one. Finally, flip both drives over Peel the electrostatic pad from the original drive and attach it in the same place on the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. The drive is now ready to install into the iMac. Insert the two mounting pins into the two grommets in the iMac and lay the drive back into the bay making sure that the SATA cables are out of the way. You can then replace the two Torx T10 screws that hold the drive in place. Attach the data cable directly to the new drive. Then, attach the OWC sensor cable into the power connector 
and the other end of the OWC cable into the hard drive. You can then position the cable in the channel to the right of the drive so that it sits out of the way. Finally, peel off the paper covering the adhesive backing on the sensor board and adhere the board to the drive near the spindle. You can now set the LCD back into the iMac, once again being careful not to touch the screen itself. Reattach the display power cable by simply sliding it into place. To reattach the DisplayPort connector, first make sure that the handle is flipped upwards. You can then slide it into the connector, then flip the handle down to lock it into place. Reattach the backlight power cable on the lower left by simply sliding it back into place until it clicks. Finally, plug the vertical sync cable back in. You can now lean the display back so it lays flat. Take a small screwdriver and slide it through the top screw hole in the display and into the hole in the iMac. You can then use this screwdriver to lift the screen up and down. Do this to align the second screw holes and insert a screw so that the screen doesn't fall. Repeat the process on the other side. Finally, replace the remaining screws and tighten them all down. Use tweezers if the magnets make installing the screws difficult. You can now set the glass into place as shown, but don't close it yet. Use your microfiber cloth to make sure there's no dust trapped in between the screen and the glass. You can then close the glass, which will be held in place by the magnets. You may need to squeeze slightly near the top to make sure the glass sits flush. Finally, remove the suction cups and wipe the front down so it's clear of smudges. You may now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.